Hi everybody, for this tutorial I wanted to teach you how to create a flip card using CSS and HTML right in Canvas. And you can use this for a content page or an announcement or an assignment page. And the interaction is that when you hover over this card, then it'll flip over and reveal the content of the other side. Now you can specify your own dimensions. My dimensions happen to be square, so this is 300 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall, but you can determine whichever dimensions you'd like. So to show you the behind the scenes, I'm actually going to look at both the HTML and the CSS. I'll mention before we get started that in order to do this interaction, you're going to have to have access to the theme editor, or you're going to have to work with somebody who has access to your institution's theme editor. But assuming you have that squared away, let's go ahead and look at the code that we're using to create this interaction. And this CSS is going to be available on my blog, so you can just copy it and paste it. For now, I'm just going to walk you through it. The first thing that we have here is a class called flip-card. And on the Canvas page, you're going to have that as the class that encompasses the entire interaction. And here the main components are, I'm establishing a background color of transparent, so I don't want there to be a color when the card flips. And I'll show you what that means in a second. I've also specified that I want the width and the height to be 300 pixels. And this is where you can change that to whatever width and height that you want. You'll likely want to keep it within normal dimensions, such as one by one, which is what I have right here, or 16 by nine, which would be a widescreen. That's how you take pictures, or if you have videos, that tends to be in a 16 by nine dimension. I'm just going square right now, 300 squared. And then the perspective deals with how you flip the card. So first of all, let's talk about these things. If I were to change this background color to red, for example, then when I flip it over, you can see that placeholder is red. So you can see that when it flips from the front side to the back side, it actually leaves the container. That red is the container. So I can change that back to transparent because I want that to be more seamless. The width and the height, if I were to change this to 600 pixels, for example, then that would change. Of course, I would want the image to be those same dimensions. So in this case, I would look for an image that's 600 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall. And that's why you want to stick with something that's a little bit more common, just so that you can find pictures. The perspective deals with how the card flips. And to show that, let's go to some extremes. I'm going to put a perspective of 200, and you can see that really flips out there. And likewise, if I were to put a perspective of 5,000 pixels, you can see it doesn't really flip much at all. And so I think that 1,000, it gives it a good flipping motion, a little bit of depth to it. This next section here, the class flip-card-inner, that would be the second div that you have here, and the actual content will sit within that div. And honestly, I wouldn't really change anything from here, other than if you wanted to change the transformation time. So to demonstrate that, if I were to change that from 0 0.6 seconds to 0 0.1 second, then you can see that flips over very quickly. And likewise, if I were to change that to maybe 2 seconds, then it's a very slow flip but I'm going to go ahead and change that back to 0.6. I think that's a good swift pace that you can still see all of the animations, the interaction. It doesn't take too much time, but it's not too abrupt either. The next classes that we have here are we have flip dash card and a hover state, and that transforms it on the Y axis 180 degrees. So it essentially flips it over. Now if I were to change that to the X axis, for example, then you can see it flips it over and the text is upside down, so I don't really want that. I want that to be y-axis. And if I were to change that from 180 to maybe 360, you see it just flips right around. Just kind of crazy. Let's try one more. Let's go uh, 90 degrees. You can see, whoop, that just kind of disappeared. That's actually kind of a funny effect too. So let's get that back to 180 degrees, and now we've got it flipped right over. These next few classes, honestly, I would just keep them how they are. You're welcome to take the code, change it, see what they do. But ultimately, I think the rest of the code stands pretty well. And so then on the HTML side, this is what you would put on the actual Canvas page. So you'd start with a class that is the flip dash card. I put a margin of 50 pixels just to give it some space around it. And that's completely optional. The next class you're going to have is that flip dash card dash inner. And then you'll have a div called flip-card-front. And then this is where you're going to put an image. And I just went on unsplash. So I put the width and the height as both 300 pixels because that's what I specified for the size of the flip card. 
And it could be that you create different classes, different flip card classes with different heights and widths. And so you would just specify, for example, if this is flip card one, then you would, spec you would call out flip card one in the HTML over here. For the image, I just copied something over from Unsplash that happened to be square, and then it cut it down to fit the 300 by 300 pixel frame. So after I have my picture, and this div is for the picture, then I'm going to style the back of the card. So I have a class for the back of the card, and then I have simple HTML. So I have a header, and then I have an H3, and then I have a paragraph. I did put some padding just so that there's some space from the top right there, and I also put some padding on the paragraph. 10 pixels just so that it comes in from the sides a little bit. And you'll notice for this 300 by 300 interaction, I want to keep the text really short. And so this would be good for some kind of flash card, but not a whole lot of narrative. And of course, the H3 and the H1 are optional. You don't have to have the headers if you want. You could just have text, and that would give you a little bit more space to put some more content in there. But that's the gist of it. So once I have this code, and you can grab this code from the website, howtocanvas.com, what I do, I'm showing you my institution CSS file. And so I just put in all of the CSS over here into my file, and then you'd go ahead and upload that. So you head over to admin, and you're gonna have to have access to the theme editor. Come down to themes, modify the theme that you want, open that in the theme editor, and then you're gonna upload the new CSS file. So you just search for that on your computer, get that uploaded. When you have that uploaded, then you'd preview it and then save the theme, and then you would apply the theme. Now let's take a look at the content page. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so that we can see behind the scenes. In the rich content editor, it looks kind of strange to be honest. So you have to go to the HTML editor, and here you can see that code that we had on CodePen over here. So I have a div that specifies that this is a flip card, and I did put a margin of 50 pixels, that's optional. And then I have another div card, flip-card-inner. And then I have the div for the front of the card, which is an image. And here's the image. You can upload an image into Canvas. You can use one that's online, like on unsplash.com. Or you can use an image that is already uploaded to your Canvas. And then I close out that div, and then I move on to the back of the card. And so that's class, flip-card-back. And then I put whatever content I want in there. So that can be a paragraph, headers, whatever. And then I just close out the divs. And there's my interaction. So I think that the advantage using a flip card this way, using only HTML and CSS, is that you have a bit of control over things like the dimensions and the content, that you don't have to rely on something like H5P, which is an awesome platform, and there's plenty of online flip cards, but then the content lives on their servers and you have to embed it over, and this way you just have complete control over how the flip card looks. So once again, don't forget to grab this code from the website, howtocanvas.com. There's a link in the description below. And I'll also remind you to subscribe to this channel for more awesome tips and tricks. And I'll just mention, if you do subscribe to this channel, it would be flippin' awesome. And until next time... Happy Disney morning!